So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically share YouTube videos on Discord and Facebook. So guys, if you are a YouTuber who is having a community on Discord and Facebook as well, this automation is going to help you a lot. So in this automation, whenever we are going to share a new video on our YouTube channel, automatically guys, with the video link and the other details like title and description of the video, we will send a message with the, all these details on our Discord channel so that you can update the new video to your Discord community as well. And then after that, automatically, we are also going to create a post on our Facebook page so that you can update your Facebook community as well with the new YouTube video which you have created. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavlikinik's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavlikinik in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavlikinik account in just 2 minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as YouTube to Discord to Facebook page. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our YouTube account, our YouTube channel with Babli Connect in the trigger window. So that whenever a new video will be published on our YouTube channel, the details of that newly published video will be captured inside Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Pavli Connect, we will send the link and the details of the newly published video on our YouTube channel automatically on Discord and also on our Facebook page. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for YouTube. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new video on the channel with video URL. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, it's time to connect our YouTube account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with YouTube button. And I have already logged into my YouTube account, my YouTube channel in my browser. So just select your YouTube account, which you want to connect, scroll down and click on continue. And after clicking on continue, here you can see that our YouTube account will get connected, our YouTube channel will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection guys, the first thing it asks us is the channel ID. So here in the drop down, it is most likely possible guys, in your YouTube account, you may have created multiple channels. So in this drop down, you will see a list of all the channels which you have created. Right now, I have created only one channel on my YouTube account that is named as demo channel, as you can see over here. So here from the drop down, select the channel from which you want to get the new video details. Now guys, after this, when we will click on this save and send test request button, the details of one of our video from our YouTube channel will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So while setting up this automation workflow, we will click on the save and send test request button like we will just clicking now. And then we will see a details of one of the video from a YouTube channel will be captured. But guys, in real time, when this automation workflow will be executed in real time, it will only take the details of the most recently published video or most recently uploaded video from a YouTube channel. So here you can see that we have received the response in this trigger window. And this response is of a video named as Beach Island. So we have this video named as Beach Island, the recent one, which we have uploaded. And you can see the details of the same video over here. So here you can see the video URL, video link. Let's copy this link from here, paste it in a new tab, and you will see the same video over here. Then after this, you will see the embed link of the video. You can see the e tags, the other details of the video, like the channel ID, the date and time that at what date and time this video was published or uploaded on the channel. Then we have the title of the video. We also have the description. We have the default URL. Then you can see the thumbnail URL of this video as well. And at last, we have the channel name. So in this way, all the details of a new video, which we have just now uploaded or published on our YouTube channel, can be received inside Pavli Connect in the trigger window. So step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, what we want to do, we want to share the details of the same video on Discord and in step three, we want to share the details of the same video on our Facebook page as well. So let's scroll down, come to this action window 
and here in choose app search for discord just select discord and then in action event from the drop down select the action event as send channel message click on connect now here guys what we have to do the first thing after clicking on connect it asks us is the webhook url now we have to actually connect our discord channel with pavli connect and to make this connection we have to create a webhook url in our discord server and then after that after creating the webhook url we have to paste the same webhook url over here so how you can create this webhook url in your discord channel so to do so just go to your discord server your discord account and from on the discord server by the side of the server name click on this arrow button and go to server settings after reaching to the server settings page from the left side just go to integrations under apps and then click on this view webhook button now after that just click on this new webhook button and then here you can see that a new webhook url is created just click here change the name of the webhook for example i would like to name it as youtube and then here you have a section of channel that using this webhook url on which channel on your discord server you want to send the messages so here guys i have created a channel on my discord server named as youtube updates and in this particular channel i want to send the link and updates whenever a new video is uploaded or published on my youtube channel so just select this channel over here and then just click on this copy webhook url so we have copied the webhook url and click on save changes so just now we have created a new webhook in our discord server and created the webhook url after copying the url just paste the same url over here in the public connect workflow and it is done the next thing it asks us is the message so here guys in this message section what is the message we want to send on our discord channel so i want my message to be hello everyone so this is the message which i want to send on my discord channel hello everyone new video is published on our youtube channel i want to mention the title of the video and the video link so here guys from youtube trigger whenever a new video will be uploaded or published we will get this response we will get this details over here so here we have the response of the title of the video and also we have the link the url of the video as well so from these responses let's map this data over here so in front of title just click here and the process of mapping guys is very simple after coming to this field here in the drop down below you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from youtube and out of all of these responses select the response of title and map it over here now after this we also want to mention the link of the video as well so we will just click here and from the drop down from youtube responses we will select this response of video url and map it over here so in this video guys you can see that i have just created a small simple message but if you want you can create any message of your choice according to your requirement that what kind of message you want to send on your discord channel whenever a new video is uploaded or published on your youtube channel and also guys from these responses of youtube whatever details whatever data you have received like title description thumbnail url and all of these details if you want you can actually send these details as well in this data or in this message you just have to map the respective details in the message section and those details will be shared for each and every video you publish on your channel now after this guys after creating the message the next thing it asks us is the bot name and bot icon so you can actually change the name of the bot who is going to share this message on your discord channel for example i would like to name my bot as youtube and also you can change the icon the display picture of the bot as well you just have to enter the url the link of the image which you want to add as the display picture of the particular bot and at last it is asking us text to speech so i don't want to enable the text to speech so we have selected it disable and then just click on save and send test request now after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the message which we have created over here basically the details of a new video being published on our youtube channel are now shared on our discord channel so let's see we will go to our discord channel and yes guys here you can see that on the same channel for which we have created the webhook url in our discord server on the same channel a new message is shared this message is shared by the bot named as youtube the same bot name which we have entered over here in pavli connect and the message says hello everyone new video is published on our youtube channel the title of the video is beach island and this is the link of the video just click on this link and then we will see that it is the exact same video whose response we have captured inside pavli connect trigger window 
So this means the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. Now after this, let's move to our final step and that is step three. And in step three, we want to share the same details of a newly published video from YouTube on our Facebook page. So just click on this add action step button over here and then in choose app, search for Facebook pages. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as create page post. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Facebook account, our Facebook page account with Pavli Connect to share this post. So just select add new connection and click on connect with Facebook pages. Now because guys, I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser. That is why Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is trying to make the connection. So just select your account and then we will see our Facebook pages account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. So it is most likely possible that on your Facebook account, you may have created multiple pages and you will see a list of all the Facebook pages which you have created in this drop down below of page. So out of all of this, you have to select the page that on which page you want to create the post. So I have this Facebook page named as Pavli Tech and I want to create a post on this particular page whenever a new video is published on YouTube. So we will be selecting this page Pavli Tech. After selecting your page, the page access token is automatically detected. So you don't have to actually make change any changes over here. Then it asks us the message and the link URL. So here in this message section, you have to actually enter the text message, the caption or the content which you want to add in this new post which we will be sharing. And here in link URL section, we will be mentioning the link of the our YouTube video. So I want the message to be for example, hello. Okay, so this is just a simple message which I want to share as a post caption over here. So instead of this, as I told you, you can basically create any message, any caption of your choice according to your requirement. It can be a larger message as well. So this message says, hello, check out our latest video on our YouTube channel. And then after title, we want to mention the title of the video which we have just now published. So from the drop down from YouTube, select the response of title and map it over here. And then here in link URL section, we have to mention the link of the video. So just click here and from the drop down from YouTube responses, select and map the response of video URL. Now, instead of this guys, if you want, you can write or create some bigger content, some bigger message as well. Okay. So right now I have added some more text to this message over here. Now, after creating your required message, mapping all the required data, which you want and mapping the link URL of the YouTube video in this section, click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that this message with this link is being shared as a new post on our Facebook page, this particular page, which we have selected. So let's check it. We will go to our Facebook page. We will just refresh our Facebook page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that a new post is just now shared on our Facebook page. This post says, hello, check out our latest video on our YouTube channel. We are excited to share our new content with you. Title, we challenge the same title of the video, which we have captured for the response in Pavli Connect. And then here you can see the link of the video as well. Just click on this post section and it will take you to our video on our YouTube channel as well. So in this way, you can see that we have created this automation workflow using which whenever a new video will be added on your YouTube channel, automatically a notification of the same video will be shared as a channel message on your Discord channel. And also we will create a post on our Facebook page and share the exact same video with the same description and other details as well. So here guys, in this video, we just took an example, but if you want, like in response, in trigger response from YouTube, you also get the description of the video as well. That what the description you have added in your YouTube video. And you can actually map that same description in the message section of Discord. Like you can actually send the same description with the message over here. And also if you want, you can actually add the same description as the message of your Facebook page post to as per your requirement. So these both of these fields are completely customizable. You can actually make any changes of your choice according to your requirement over here. Now, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once. We are going to upload a new video on our YouTube channel. So let's go to YouTube channel, select a video. This is it. Just open it. 
and then let's add a description. For example, I will add a description as this is a real time test. And then let's select the other details as well. No, this is not made for cat. Let it just process the video for a couple of minutes. And let's move ahead. Click on next. Corporate element visibility. Let's select the visibility as public. And then just click on this publish button over here. So here guys, we will see that we have just now published a new video on our YouTube channel. And this is the link of the video. Let's copy it and paste it over here. And you can see this video over here. Now, after publishing this video, guys, we will see within 10 minutes. So the YouTube trigger of Public Connect has a polling speed of 10 minutes. That every 10 minutes, Public Connect will go to a YouTube channel and check that whether a new video is uploaded on our channel or not. And if we have uploaded a new video, it will get the details of that video. And then this automation workflow will be triggered and it will be executed. So guys, here after publishing a new video on our YouTube channel, we just have to wait for 10 minutes. And within 10 minutes, we will see a new message will be shared on our Discord channel with the same video details, link, title, and other details. And also, a new post will be created on our Facebook page. So let's wait for 10 minutes over here. Okay, guys. So we have successfully waited for 10 minutes. Now let's check our Discord channel. And yes, guys. Here you can see that a new message is sent on our Discord channel, which says, Hello, everyone. New video is published on our YouTube channel. The title of the video is Big Waves Rushing to the Show. So the same title of the video which we have just now added to this video. And then here you can see the same link. When we will click on this link, the same video opens on our YouTube channel. And also guys, you will see a new post will be created on our Facebook page. So let's go to our Facebook page and refresh the page once. And yes, here you can see that just now a new page or new post is shared which says, Hello, check out our latest video on our YouTube channel. We are excited to share our new content with you. Title, Big Wave Rushing to the Show. So here guys, we have just created a stagnant message in this automation video. But guys, instead of this, what you can do, you can actually map the description of the video in this message section. And whatever description you will be adding on your YouTube video, with the same description and message and the link of the video, a new message will be shared on our Discord channel and a new post will be created on Facebook page. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.